This is a 2002 Mercedes Benz C230 Coupe. This car has 65,000 miles on it, which is extremely low. This is a very, 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 very clean car in fantastic condition. Okay, it's a nice low mile car. Everything in this car is working. This car drives fantastically. It's a really great small little car. Four cylinder, small engine, great on gas. Um, a lot of features. You know, usually these cars come pretty much bare bones. They were made to be economical, but this person ordered a lot of features with the car. Power windows, power locks, multi century, power mirrors, CD changer, has a panoramic roof, which is also power. You know, the shade is power. Um, fog lamps. has a lot of features. Radio controls on the steering wheel. Okay. Basically, in this video, we'll pick the car for a fast test drive, and I'll show you all the car's features, and then when I'm done, I'll um, show you that they all work. They all do. Okay, so we'll get started. Okay, we've got the original Mercedes-Benz key for the car. It does work. Okay, it locks the locks, opens the locks, sounds the alarm. Okay, it all works. No problem with any of that. Okay. Um, we'll start the car. Okay. So you can see the car starts up right away. It's got 65,734 miles exactly. There's no warning lights on the dashboard of any type, as you can see. Okay, no warning lights. Car runs real nice. Okay, all the gauges are working, no problems there. The wipers are work. All the speeds for the wipers are working. Okay. Power mirrors work. Damn. They go up, down, left, and right. Not a problem. Passenger works. Same thing. Up, down, left, and right. The headlights all work. Okay, the fog lights go on. They do work 100%. There's no problem with the headlights and the taillights are all in this car. It's all perfect. No problems there. Show the car's windows. And it's actually automatic. Hit the button one time and they go up and down automatically. No more full problem. No more perfect. Please. Okay. Come back over here. Car's horn works. Has cruise control. Try it on the highway. No works, no problem. Um, has still control. The power through all the settings of the car. Coolant temperature, miles per hour, service intervals, oil level, all those things. So they're all working. Over here, you have radio control buttons for the radio. the volume on the radio. As you can see, the radio works. Okay? No problem with the radio. On the channel scan. Okay? All the speakers are to be working. Not a problem. The car has a cassette player. Okay, you can see it opens up and, uh, you know, opens up fine. Got a CD player. Okay, right now the magazine's empty, but in the uh, glove box is a changer for it. As you can see, the magazine is right there. Okay, glove box light goes on. All the manuals for the car are there. We have all the owner's manuals. All the formats are here for the car. Okay, we got all that complete. Come over here to the AC controls. Okay, they all work. All the, all the fan speeds work. Okay, all the buttons are working. The rear of the froster. Front of the froster, circulation button. Okay, they're all working perfectly. Okay. 
The AC in this car blows ice cold, and the heat in this car blows hot, so there's no problems there whatsoever with uh, any of the uh, uh, controls. Over here we have a little storage cubby, clean. It's actually an ashtray, the car was never smoked in. It doesn't appear to be uh, smoked in at all, or anything like that. Then we'll come down uh, over here. You have a nice clean armrest area. Okay. Storage bin, nice and clean. Over here, you have a cigarette lighter with a cup holder. As you can see, it's not broken. Usually, these things break. And it's not it's, you know, in perfect condition. Okay, so that's nice. Uh, the cloth seats in the car are real nice. The door panels are in good condition. Okay, we'll come up over here by the roof and show you the car's dome lights are working. Okay. The tear lights are working. Rear light works. Okay. They're all working perfectly. Okay, the car's a panoramic roof. Okay, the shade opens and closes. No problem with that at all, perfectly. Okay, the visors when you open them up, they light up, and they're not broken at all or anything like that. Usually those break off. In this car it hasn't happened. Okay. Nice condition. Nice headliner. Okay, car is super clean back seats. I don't think anybody ever sat back here. Also, too, the floor mats are there as well. You can probably see them. They have the floor mats here, too. Okay, it's a very, very clean car. I think I showed you pretty much everything. I think now we'll just uh, go for a fast little test drive. Okay, car steering is nice. Steering of this car is out straight. It's not pulling at all or anything like that. Car has great acceleration. So it steers out of shape with no hands on the wheel. Perfect steering, as I mentioned. Brakes are good. No problem at all with the brakes. It's a really nice car, and for somebody who wants a nice Mercedes to drive back and forth with, this is the perfect one for you. A four cylinder car, great on gas, parts of this car are cheap, and not a lot of money, and a reason to maintain. And very, very, very economical. It's a very economical vehicle for someone to buy. And this driver, you know, more businesses on the highway, a tool from school, great for a college student, someone like that. And you know, here's a Mercedes. You know, for, for a person to get this car for, it's, you know, it's better than buying a Honda Civic. Okay, I think that will conclude my video of the car. If you have any questions about this vehicle, if you want to come down, see it in person, take it for a test drive, I have no problem with that. You know, if you want, bring a mechanic with you. That's always welcome as well. Okay. If you have a question about this vehicle, feel free to give me a call or email me anytime. My name is Matt. My number is 646-243-9866. Okay. Thanks and good luck, baby.